What's going on folks? Today I'm going to be reviewing the game Overturn. This game came out in 1991 from the Pressman Corporation and it is for two players or you can play this game in teams. Now this is a word game and uh, it says here on the top of the box this is from the makers of Othello and it plays a lot like Othello only it's a word game. And what you're going to be trying to do is you're going to try to have the most amount of your color rings on this board uh, by the time the game ends and you're going to be using it to form words. So let's show you Overturn. Okay everybody let's get started. You have got 18 of these letter tiles over here and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to stack nine of them on the bottom here and then you're going to put nine of them on the top like so. Uh, after you finish the first game if you want you can just simply clear off the nine tiles on the top and then use the bottom nine tiles for the next game. Uh, now everybody is going to be receiving uh, 18 of these rings and there's one side that's green and one side that's silver. Well one player will be green and one player will be silver and you're going to be using these to make words. You can make a word two letters or higher um, and you're not going to be able to just spell a word on one of these tiles. You have to go beyond that. So I'll just go ahead and just do a word right here just to show you how it works. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to connect the letters horizontally, vertically, or diagonally and they have to be in order when you make the word. Uh, so let's just start with this word right here, Jade. So with the green I'm going to go ahead and put J A D and then I will go ahead and put E and then it will go to my opponent. The opponent is going to have to use make a new letter with his and he's also going to have to use one of the old letters meaning a letter that has been previously played to make his word. Now he can use letters over here that his opponent has made or he can make some new letters. You're just simply going to have to connect it to a word that is already on the board. Uh, so for example let's say I decide I'm going to spell the word ripe. So I could go R and then I would go I, and then I would go P, and then I would go ahead and turn this over uh, a la Othello to the E. So I've gone ahead and made the word right. So then my opponent's going to go, and let's just say he decides he's going to make the word heap. So he'll go ahead and turn this over to his color, like PE, and then he will go ahead and uh, finish the word off as peep. And that's generally how the way the game is going to go. A couple of interesting rules for forming words. You can actually use a letter and double it up while you're making a word. So for example, let's say someone decided to make the word elope. Uh, let's say Silver goes and he makes the word elope. He goes E, L, and then O, and then P, he'll spin this over, and then E, he'll spin this over, like so. Uh, one thing that the opponent can do, if he would like to, is he could double up a letter and make a new word. So for example, green could make loom. He could go L and then O, count this as another O, and then put an M over there for loom. Now there's also tiles on here that have two letters. The Z and the X is one of them, and on the other one is the Q and the U. Um, in the case of the Z and the X, you can go ahead and cho choose one of those letters uh, whenever you're using this uh, to spell a word, and it will stay that letter until the end of the game. The QU tile, you can either use the QU together, or you can just use the U. Uh, so you'll have that choice when you're making the word. And again, it's going to go ahead and stay there. Try to do advanced play with this game. Uh, you can just simply make the rule that players cannot use a letter more than once in a word. And so anyway, play is going to go ahead and continue on like this. Play is going to end once all of the letters have been used up here on the board, or it gets to the point where no more words can be formed, and then everybody's going to go ahead and count up their colors on the board, and whoever has the most amount of colors is going to win the game. And again, if you wanted to make a, play a second game, you could just simply remove these and uh, go ahead and start your second game. And that, folks, is Overturn. So my final thoughts on Overturn. Well, I found this game uh, when I was doing a gig in New Orleans, and that was a long day, but I did get this little prize uh, as a result of it. I got it for a couple of dollars. If you like the game Othello, I think you're going to like this game. I, I really like the creativity they have behind this game, uh, taking a game like Othello and making it into a word game. Uh, my wife and I have played this, and uh, a lot of times you're going to be looking on the board uh, as you would in most word games, trying to figure out the best combinations, and a lot of times uh, we would end up finding words in more words and it's pretty cool when uh, you're end, you end up spinning over a lot of your opponent's uh, rings uh, because there happens to be a word in a word that she didn't or he didn't see and uh, you might actually make a whole new word with it so that's really really cool you do not have to be a wordsmith to enjoy this game you can just 
make the words as simple as you would like to. Uh, mainly the rule is you just want to try to have the most amount of rings. So there's a lot of things that goes on in this game, not just when you're trying to form words, but also as to how many rings that you would like to use. Very easy game to learn. Uh, I would definitely recommend it if you like games like Othello and if you like word games. So guys, that's my review of Overturn. We'll see you later. Keep on gaming.